For people inside the hall, music is absolutely critical. It sets the mood, gets people going. At this convention, they used a DJ whose client list usually includes people like Jennifer Lopez and Kanye West. ABC's Cecilia Vega tagged along with the man who drops the beats for the Democrats. Tonight in Charlotte, a handful of A-list stars were center stage. Mary J. Blige brought down the house. Mark Anthony belted out the national anthem. Even Scarlett Johansson made the pitch. Re-elect President Barack Obama. But there is one secret weapon of hipness this campaign has in its back pocket. A celebrity DJ so sought after, Beyonce and Kim Kardashian booked him to play at their weddings. And he can rake in up to $100,000 for a single gig. DJ Cassidy is spinning, grooving, and jamming his way through this campaign. Hoping a little Madonna might bring some cool into this cold convention hall. We got Journey, Teddy Pendergrass, Marvin Gaye, That's Barry hard. White, Stevie Wonder. Well, Barry White could go a long way with an equal Beyonce, opportunity yeah, but, uh, hip. But, you know, it all works. And, um, you know, like I said, we're here, you know, to learn and to celebrate and, um, you know, to fight for the future. His real name is Cassidy Podell. By 18, he was partying with models and spinning for P. Diddy. He even jammed at the president's birthday. DJ Cassidy, thank you so much. Is the big ticket item the song that the president walks out to? Well, the president's the main act here. So what is it? Can you give us a hint? Absolutely not. <laughs> Top secret file. I guess so. Signed, sealed, delivered. Signed, sealed, delivered. That was his too. He works with the campaign to choose the perfect song. He's easy to spot with his trademark top hat and gold microphone, sitting always in the best seat in the house. This is like watching C-SPAN. You must be the most well-informed citizen right now. I wish every young person my age would actually be home and have this on TV right now. Hold like on one second. Go. Did you watch much of the Republican convention? I watched some. What did you think of the music selection? Um, I didn't think much. Online flea markets. <laughs> Ouch. Trying to be polite. Oh. <laughs> if there are doubts about whether some of the hope has faded, the buzz has died, the coolness gone, the faithful celebrities aren't buying it. They're in the convention hallways like Will I Am and Ashley Judd. It's like Celebrity Central out here, huh? They're also hosting the after parties, like Eva Longoria and Flo Rida at a local Charlotte dive. You feel like it's the same as it was uh, four years ago? Absolutely. As the clock strikes 1 a.m., the party starts to look like Animal House took over Capitol Hill by way of Charlotte, thanks to a little Jackson 5. This is the night shift. You know, this is, you know, it's the after party. So the energy doubles. What makes a party like this go? Until I leave. For DJ Cassidy, the goal is to keep that party going all the way until November 6th. Who's ready for four more years of President Obama? For Nightline, I'm Cecilia Vega in Charlotte.